Hey guys, welcome to Faster Than Light or FTL. My name is Gamer Zach, and you are an awesome gamer or an awesome viewer if you don't actually play these games. Anyway, I don't want to seem like I'm bandwagoning here, but I saw Day 9's playthrough of FTL and I did not realize how awesome this game was. I got so addicted watching his playthrough that I was like, oh, I want to play this game. And it's only 10 bucks on Steam, so I thought, Ah, uh, let's just do it. It seems like a fun thing to do and it looks like it's really well made. So shout outs to the developers. I do not know your names. Day9 knows your names though. Uh, but you guys are awesome and this is an amazing game. Okay, so let's head on to the tutorial first because I'm not too sure what we're doing here. I have seen the playthrough, but let's just get acquainted with the interface and everything. Okay, welcome to FTL. You are the captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. The Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your ship is carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. You will be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Okay, your ship is the Kestrel. It is the focus of the typical game view, okay? The circular icons at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. Systems use power from the reactor pointed at by the arrow. Okay. These are your ship's subsystems. Unlike systems, they do not require power from the rea reactor. However, your mouse over any system icon to get more information about the system. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Uh, yes, so it does. The hull meter, shield level, and current resources are in the top left. If your hull meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. We should get going. But it looks like your engines are currently powered down. The green system boxes are powered. White system boxes are unpowered and providing no benefit to the Kestrel. So we just have to power up our engines then. Left click on the engine system icon, power will be transferred to her. Uh, try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to depower a system. Yep. Uh, if you want to reroute its power. Okay. Oh no, your engine room took two damage. Its system icon has become red to show that it's broken. Your hull meter has also taken two damage. Oh, that's not nice. Your crew cannot repair the ship's hull, but they can fix the engine. Select your crew members by using left click. Select multiple crew by left clicking. So we can just select a couple and right click on a room to send them there. Okay, there they go. Off to repair the engine room. Now we should also reroute some of these people as well. Crew members will automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders in their room. Fighting, low oxygen, and fire will hurt the crew. Okay. So let's uh, send these people around. Looks like they fixed the engine. We can distribute our crew around. Awesome, your engines are now repaired. Notice that the repaired systems will automatically try to repower themselves to the last power state. Oh cool, that's handy. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the systems. Crew members will automatically man any functioning system in their room. The silhouette above the power bars shows if the system is manned. Cool. Oh no, a fire has broken out in your starboard airlock. You could send your crew members to put it out, but uh, we can just open these doors. Do we just... there we go. Open that, and the fire should go out from lack of oxygen. There we go. Now that your engines are fixed and the fire is out, we should fast... Uh, like, okay, and I think it is X to close all doors. Okay, cool. Uh, FTL, jump. Uh, it will consume one fuel, and let's jump to the next star system. This is the beacon map, a ship marks your current location. Hover your mouse over the location to get more information about it. It just says uninvisited location. Left click on a connecting node to travel there now. Well, let's head, since this is a tuto the tutorial, let's head towards the exit. Off we go on a first FTL jump. Oh, every new location will have an event like this. You might have multiple choices available to you at an event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They are nearly always a good choice. Well, let's pick the blue one then. Welcome to combat. You can use a spacebar or middle mouse to pause the game at any time. Let's do that. <laughs> you need to power your weapons. Okay, so we gotta turn that on. We can... Oh, it just takes one power. Left clicking on it. 
You can also use the hotkeys 1 to 4 to access your weapon. So 1 accesses the first weapon. Okay, the weapon will fire will red when ready. Make sure the game is unpaused. And we gotta target something. Uh, well, th let's target his weapons. Okay, so he's shooting back, but our dual lasers should be able to take this out pretty soon. Oh, he's got two shields. The two-shot laser cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shields. But he can't get through mine either. Okay. Every two powered bars in your shield system uh, nets you one more shield. Okay, so I got two, so that's one shield. You've been given a missile launcher now. Shoot it. Uh, shooting it expends your missiles. Uh, but we can power that on. And we can press two to target his weapons again. There we go. So the lasers will take out the shield and the missile will actually damage that. Okay. As the enemy systems are damaged or destroyed, their icons change orange or red. Okay. So we just have to keep this... Oh, auto fire on. Make it a bit easier so I don't have to micro so much. Um, come on. Take him out. There we go. One more shot. We can disable the missile. Actually, no. We need. We can't penetrate the shields, can we? Uh, so yes, we're going to have to shoot one more missile at him to take out his ship. Does this penetrate the shield? Yes, it does. There we go. Weak pirate ship destroyed. You destroyed the pirate ship as salvage you gain some scrap and a weapon. A halberd beam. Cool. Weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there's no room in the respective system. Left click on the ship. Okay, so let's see. We got an Artemis missile here and dual lasers. And there's a halberd beam in our cargo. Okay, so this is your equipment screen. You can see more detailed information by mousing over things. Click and drag the halberd beam to replace... Uh, I'll replace the Artemis. There we go. Slow but reliable powerful standard beam weapon. Beam damage is reduced by one of every shield that passes through, which allows for partial shield piercing. Ah, that's handy. Except, shield piercing will mean they can't be immune to all of our attacks. Oops, your weapon system max is 2 power, but we need 4, it looks like. So let's open this back up. We got money here. Okay, this is the upgrade screen. You can also upgrade the uh, reactor at the bottom of the menu, which is important for keeping everything fully powered. Uh huh. Left click on your weapon system to upgrade it. Uh, yes, because we need four into that. So we can upgrade that by two. And then we'll want to upgrade one more reactor. And we can accept that. And that should give us... There we go. Four weapons and enough energy. Final tip. You can rearrange your weapons in the weapon system toolbar by clicking and dragging. If your weapon system is damaged, this order determines the order they are depowered from right to left. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, the weapons, yeah. Okay, so this is priority. Okay, cool. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. Press continue to quit this tutorial. Ah, okay. Okay, now that we're done with the tutorial, let's go ahead and start a new game. Alright, this looks pretty cool. I have not played this game before, but as you can see, I haven't unlocked anything in this. Uh, but let's um, rename our ship. Uh, I'm just gonna rename it to the Wallflower, because I like that name. Uh, yes, there we go. And we are a standard Kestrel ship, and we have to rename our characters here. Uh, I'm gonna rename the captain of the ship. Let's see. I'm, of course, I'm gonna call it Gamerzack, because that's who I am. Enter to accept that. And I don't really have uh, names for these guys here. Uh, I guess we can just call, leave it as Mara and Vincent. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Mara Dean. Oh, I'm guess, guessing that's a girl. Okay, Mara Dean. And Vincent. There we go. We're starting with an Artemis Missiles and Burst Laser Mark II. Okay. Now, I will play it on uh, normal mode because I don't want to play on easy. That seems a bit uh, of an easy way out. So let's go ahead and start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. 
weapon order, rearrange weapons, drone schematics, blah blah blah. Okay, so we can, looks like we can charge up our weapons here, so that's pretty cool. We don't have any cash, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, rearrange our people. Looks like, oh, F1, F2, F3 are hotkeys for our uh, people here. Okay, so we'll put Mara in the shields room and Vincent in the weapons room. There we go. I'll be captain of the ship and let's go ahead on to our first jump. Now, I've seen that the rebels try and catch up. So the best way to get as much stuff in each sector pr to prepare yourself for the next is to stay as long as possible in each sector. So I'm going to head straight down here and take the longest route possible. Looks like if I go down this way, I could pop up into this nebula before heading to the exit. Or I could go up this way, oh, but this is actually a dead end. So there might be something here if I head to the center of the galaxy. Okay, I think I'll go up here and bounce back down here. So let's head up first. Here we go, first planet we're visiting. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. Uh, I don't have any drone parts. I'm gonna have to ignore you guys, sorry. Let's jump on up to here. We got nothing to do at the store right now. Heading up here. And what is, oh, looks like our first real fight, an especially well-armed pirate ship. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free. Uh, no, we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers, but he's especially well-armed, so I'm not sure how we're gonna do here. But let's go ahead and pause the game and we're gonna have to target Let's see, I'm gonna just target his weapons, because if he's well-armed, I'm gonna have to take those out as soon as possible. Um, let's see how well we fare against this pirate... Oh no, this rebel fighter. Hopefully we won't die in our first encounter. Come on, let's take out his weapons. Oh, he dodged... Oh no, we're... Let's, uh, try deal with fires by... starving them of oxygen, so we don't have to... Uh, risk our crew. Looks like we have damaged his weapons. Oh, come on. Put out the fire, Vincent. You can do it! Okay, good. We're keeping his weapons offline. And it's... Oh, it's trying to escape. No, you're not getting away. Uh, did we... Oh, we actually lost our burst lasers. Not enough power. Oh, come on. Vincent, you're having problems with that fire. Oh, but we took out the ship! The slave ship's destroyed, we got two missiles, drone parts, and plenty of scrap. Uh, you go... Uh, why the... Let's starve all of this of oxygen and try and <laughs> save our crew from being hurt here. Let's hope the fire doesn't spread onto this side. Come on, fires, go out. There we go. Close all doors. And we can soon return Vincent to the weapons room. There we go. You can help him fix that up. So it goes a little bit faster. Now we got 30 uh, scrap here. But I don't think we can afford anything quite yet. We'll, we'll stick to that for now. Okay, fixing it up pretty quick. That was a good first encounter. We, I think I handled that pretty well for my first real fight. And here we go, let's jump on over to the next location, which will be this right side here, and then I can swing back down. Now one thing I do want to invest in is buying more crew, because that's just so handy, having extra crew. Okay, once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings, the nearby pirates seem to have advanced hacking tools to try to shut down our engines. Okay, so let's move into attack. Let's uh, get this ready. Uh, again, we have to target his weapons. As long as we disable his weapons, then we're gonna be okay. I don't know how well-armed this ship is, but if he doesn't have weapons, then we're gonna be fine. Oh, that was a pretty bad hit, but I think we're doing okay. Shield's critical. Come on, Mara, you can do it. We took out his weapons for a short while, but there we go. Now, how many uh, fires one missile, fires three lasers? Okay, let's disable our missiles for now. We gotta store that f uh, 
There we go. Don't want to waste our missiles. Let's put that on slot two. And another ten scrap and three fuel. Cool. Looks like we're doing okay. All systems go. Mara could heal up a bit. I think everyone else is fine. Now let's jump on over to the next location. Where are we now? We're here. Ooh, they are starting to catch up. Do I have time to visit all these locations before... Oh no, I have to jump back here pretty soon. Um, I think I can go here, here, then back to the... So I don't know, three steps. Will I be okay? Uh, to be safe, I'm gonna have to head straight down here. I don't want to risk it so early in the game. Okay, here we go. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your... No, I'm gonna reject the offer. Yes. Uh, so let's reject that. And too bad, you'll regret this decision. Okay, let's target their weapons. Intruders detected. Oh no, it's one of those bug things. We're gonna have to uh, try deal with that. Take out their weapons. And let's deal with this thing here. I think we got him. Mara and Vincent's doing fine. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, no, no, Mara, Mara, go heal up. Okay, that was close. I better not worry too much about using the pause button because I don't want to keep losing my crew. Okay, our weapons have been damaged. Come on, start shooting again. We don't get hit like by that again. Let's, uh... Quickly fix up our weapons here. Okay, Mara, back on shields. Ooh, that was pretty bad. Took out our... Well, hit me there. Oh, come on. Take out their weapons. There we go. The longer we can delay their weapons, the better we're gonna be. Ah, there we go. An Artemis missile. Right in the weapons room. And there we go. You can heal up. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Very nice, very nice. Let's heal up, let's make sure everyone's okay. I need a bit of healing, Mara's fine. Okay, you can go back there, and I can head back to the cockpit. Okay, I'm not sure if there's charging up these weapons beforehand. Does it allow us to use these weapons straight in the next fight? I'm not too sure. Oh well, uh, we got some cash, but we're gonna head to the store soon. Uh, yes, good thing I jumped down here. I'm gonna have to head to the store, then quickly run away from this rebel wave. So, down to the store. And here we go. Uh, one of the ship at this beacon is showing heavy damage, you'll receive a message. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire necessary supplies to get home. Okay, let's see what we can buy. Drone control, I can't afford it. Drones are awesome though. Um, I could repair myself. Buy fuel, buy missiles. Drone parts. I can't really afford anything, so I guess we're just gonna fix up what we need. Let's, uh, let's fix all of our hull. I guess that's all we can buy for now. Don't really need anything else. Okay, so let's jump on over to the next... A distress signal. Ah, oh, looks like the rebels are hot on our tail. So let's see, can I afford to go to this distress beacon? Or do I have to jump straight here? Ooh, I'm not too sure. Okay, I'm just gonna jump straight here and see how far this moves. And I'll use it for future reference. Let's jump to this unvisited location. Okay, uh, speckled settlements, none respond my hails. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, I could have gone there, so that would have been safe. So it does kind of go one row of stars at a time. But let's move over to the next location. Okay, a small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons! Okay, cool. Let's target their weapons. Oh, they got a drone. That's not good for our shields. But we're gonna take out their weapons as soon as we can. Ooh, ah, oh, that hit us pretty hard. But we're doing okay. Now, did we miss everything or did we damage their weapons? I'm not sure. Ooh, that's not good. Let's open these doors. 
starve it of oxygen, make sure it doesn't spread that way. Okay, we took out their weapons. I think we'll be okay here, it doesn't look like- Oh, we're out of missiles, that's not good. We fired the last missile that, uh, and... Ooh. If I don't destroy their ship, I'll get three fuel drone parts, scrap eight. Ah, we will not accept surrender. Now, sometimes we get less of this, but I notice that if we destroy their ship, we get more scrap. And more scrap is better because I can buy what I want. Okay, there we go. Fires out. Close all doors. Come on, take them out with my burst laser. There we go. Their weapons are still offline, I think, and so... We should be doing okay here. This drone is pretty annoying. Can't wait till I get some drones. There we go. Rebel Rigger, you're going down. There we go. 13 scrap. We still get a drone part and two missiles. Pretty cool. Okay. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see. If I... I could actually add one more power to my engines if I buy one. I think that'll increase my evade chance, but I don't even have anyone in my engine room. So we'll leave that for now. I would like to upgrade my doors though. Because that will protect me from intruders a bit better. Uh, blast doors 20. Improve blast doors. Okay, before I get boarded again, I'm gonna improve my blast the doors blast doors. That way they can't just walk through my ship. And maybe I can starve them of oxygen. Okay, let's jump to the next spot. Uh, I don't really like Nebula, but I could go here, then swing back up if need be. That place might be somewhere really nice though, but I don't think I can make it. Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't think I can make it up there, that's too far away. So I'm gonna jump down here, visit these places in Nebula, and go to the exit. Okay, so here we are. Scan show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on... Oh, okay, should I attack the pirate ship or ignore them? Well, they're not... Uh, oh, they're not providing me any reward if I ignore them, so let's attack the pirate ship. Come on, then. You asked for it. They pull away from the planet and move in to engage. You're going down, pirate ship. I'm targeting your weapons with everything I got, because as long as you don't have weapons, I'm gonna be fine. What was that? Uh, ooh, looks like- ooh, that's- that's pretty bad. That's- that took out my med bay. And my hull's at 75%, that's not good. But we took out their weapons, we can disable our Artemis missiles to save on that. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Let's see, uh, we should- uh, we can repair the med bay later, there's no intruders here. Uh, they don't look- uh, they're trying to escape. Oh, the enemy FTL has been delayed, cool. Don't know why, I didn't take out their engines. But I think we can take them out with just our burst lasers. Because they've only got one shield. There we go! Teach you for trying to mess with me. Two missiles, drone part, and 18 scrap, cool. Oh, with the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there'll just be another ship looking for profit from our isolation soon enough. Sorry, we can't give you more. It's okay. Two fuel missile, nine scrap. That's that's fine. Uh, let's repair our med bay. Mara can handle that. Uh, speed things up. Vincent, go help repair. Having these two guys as repairers will be useful because they're positioned at the center of the ship and they can rush around to improve things. Why do I have one extra power here? If I add... Oh, it does actually add 15% to evade if I... How my engines like that. Cool. Okay, let's jump. Looks like we got some time to visit these nebula locations. And let's head on up here. Okay, we're in danger. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. Okay, so let's take this guy out. Uh, the ship starts to pirate FTL. If it gets away, it'll be no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay, so it's trying to run away, so let's pause this. I don't think it's got that many weapons, but we want to take out its engines on this. Uh, not enough power. Okay, we gotta remove a power from that, activate our missiles, and I will target its engines with this. Let's make sure it doesn't get away. Focus fire on the engines. 
So you guys should not be able to escape if I take this out. So, oh, I, I know why the last one, the FTL was delayed. It's because I damaged something and, oh no, that's not good. Okay, let's uh, pause this, pause this. I'm gonna send you out and I'm just gonna open these doors. Okay, hopefully the fire doesn't spread. Okay, we don't need our Artemis missiles anymore. Okay, I don't know if there's more fires going on here. Let's open these doors. Okay, we took them out. The ship breaks apart and you'll feel relief in the knowledge that you'll hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Okay, cool. Now, I think there's fires everywhere. If I put someone in the this room here... No, I still can't see. Okay, I don't know where their fires are, but we gotta fix our oxygen. So let's send you two down there. And you can check out this room. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's... That's not good. Okay, okay, fix up the oxygen. Okay, okay, Vincent to the med bay. I'm gonna head in there to help out Mara. Mara, get out! Okay, let's, uh, how do I close these doors? Close those, there's no fire here. Now you guys heal up, try and repair our oxygen before we run out. Let's close all doors. Okay, I get out. You two, go continue repairing. Every time I swap, I gotta start repairing from scratch again, is it? Okay, come on, fix it. Now you two head to the med bay while our oxygen supplies replenish. Cool, cool, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. It's getting a little uh, tougher, but we're still in the... Uh, the starting area, uh, so, but I think we'll be fine. Once we upgrade our ship a bit, we'll be doing A-OK. -okay. Now let's repair our shields and get our people back to their stations. So Vincent's supposed to be in the weapons room. Now I'm pretty sure if I upgrade my CCTV system, I'll be able to see things in my ship in the nebula, but we're not quite at that point yet. Let's repower our shields. And it's strange that it didn't auto-power back on. But I think we're doing okay, we can let our oxygen replenish a bit. And we'll jump to the next spot, which is also in the nebula, and then we'll head to the exit. Unless I have time to head up here. Let's see. Do I have time to head up? I think I do. One, two, three. One, two... I'm not sure if I have time to head up there. I might do. Should I risk it? I think I can. One, two... Okay, I'm gonna head up here, and then I'm gonna head straight down to the exit. I think there's enough time. Let's see what's here. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what's inside. Uh, well, it's a rebel ship, so let's just uh, attack it. Uh, attack the automated ship to get to the station. Oh, it's actually protecting a station. Okay, uh, I think we can do this. Okay, let's target your weapons. And that should protect us from getting too much damage. Okay, here we go. Charge phases. Charge Artemis missiles. I love these names. Space names are always so cool. Ooh, that was pretty bad. But we took out your weapons. And uh, I don't think there's any fires going on quite yet. So, let's fire one more missile at you. Oh, miss on the missile. Let's, let's save our missiles, because I think my burst laser can keep their weapons no longer functioning. Charge up our engines to try and evade them a bit better. There we go, we're keeping your weapon system out of order, and you're going down on the next burst. Easy peasy. There we go. Auto Assault Drone, you're dead! Salvage what you can, investigate the station. It was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. You find... Ooh, Defense Drone Mark 1. Now, I actually have a drone, a 9 scrap. Ah, good, good. So I just have to buy a... A drone module thing, I think. It's in my cargo, but I gotta get a drone system installed. Shoots down incoming missiles and asteroids. Oh, that's so useful. Okay, I have to get a drone system when I get to a shop. 
But for now, everything seems okay. I don't think there's any problems. Let's head down here. Yeah, I don't have time to visit those, so let's head down towards the exit, but one more nebula place. Oh, okay. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh conditions, a rebel scout seems to be waiting for you. A storm? That's not going to be good for us. Okay, we got to keep ourselves as safe as possible. Let's... None of power. Oh, no. We don't have power to... for our weapons because of the storm. We're going to have to depower some things here. Uh, wow, it's getting pretty tough. But I'm guessing he's suffering from the same conditions. So we're gonna have to depower our engines and we'll target his weapons. We can also depower our medbay because we're not being boarded. And we can launch an Artemis missile at his weapons as well. As long as he can't shoot us, we're gonna be okay. Our shields are also down. Oh, because we, we have to depower our shields for this. But we gotta keep our oxygen on. Okay, we can do this. He's suffering from the same problems as we are. So you you can um, go to our weapon system, I guess. I don't think putting another person in here is gonna help. Uh, is there a fire there? No, we're doing okay. Okay, we disabled their weapons. We're out of missiles. Looks like they're moving around trying to fix things. But as long as we keep their weapons disabled, we'll be okay. I think we're going to be fine here. Let's power up our shields. Uh, none of power. We got one. We can't put one in there. We got, oh, we got to put two. The day is yours. Show us honor by allowing us to leave. Uh, two missiles, drone parts, 11 scrap. Well, I actually want more scrap so I can buy stuff later. We will not as accept your surrender. Now, let me just check. Scrap 11. So we might get less of this, but we could do with more scrap. We can always buy missiles with scrap. That's why. We'll not accept surrender. Okay, here we go. One more burst, and we should be able to take you out. I think they're trying to repair their weapons, yes. There we go. Teach you, rebel scum. Scrap 11, drone parts. Oh, we got fuel instead of missiles. Okay, so it, it just kind of changes the what we get around. Okay, continue. I think we're doing okay here, but let's get... Oh, we got to pilot the engine uh, to get out of here. Oh, we actually disabled our engines, of course. So let's... How do we... We're gonna power our engines. How do I turn that off, power that? There we go. System's back online. And we can jump to the exit. Now we should be safe here on the first exit and we can make sure all our systems are good to go. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Cool. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Ooh. I guess I should investigate. Let's have a look. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six legged, horse like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Hmm. Try to communicate peacefully, bring the creatures on board to sell. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna be a nice guy here, and let's just try communicate. Let's hope I don't get screwed by this. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work, they just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures sent a canters forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, the creatures guide you to an old NG ship crash site. Inside, you are able to find a reactivate an NG. Ooh. Uh, fuel 2, drone parts 1, scrap 9. I got a crew member! Yes, Garrick and NG. Thank you so much, that was amazing. I actually got an NG and I'm gonna put you in the engine room because that seems apt enough. Uh, that, that was a great stop. Okay, cool, so we got some cash uh, saved up. Uh, hopefully we can get to a shop soon enough. Let's charge things up because why not? And we're ready to jump onto the next sector. So cool. I'm going to end this video here and I'm going to uh, come back in the next video in sector two.